So this is more or less a fresh pull from GitHub of the Creeper project. And what I've also done is created this uh, config local and edited it such that here we're pointing um, for the Windows build, we're pointing at Hoops Visualize 2020 and Hoops Exchange 2020 U1. So this version of Visualize uses that version of Exchange and that's um, where we're gonna pull our license files uh, as well as a number of other um, libraries in order to build this project. So following the example here in the README, the first thing uh, that I've done is I've run the Qt n2 to make sure that uh, the Qt binaries are in my path. I've also added the visualize and exchange binaries to my, my path as well. So here at the beginning, you see Qt, we're using 12.2. Uh, we're also building from the Visual Studio 2015 uh, command prompt uh, x64. You can use uh, 2017 as well if you want. So we have Qt there. We also have my visualize uh, binary directory. We're gonna build in debug mode right now as well as the exchange binary directory in, in my path. Those are gonna be necessary in order to run this application. Uh, as well, let's take a look here. We, we have um, CL installed as well as, as, as QMake in our path so we can use both of those. Uh, the first thing we need to do is make our make file. So we're going to go qmake creeper.pro and that will build our make file for us and then and make as well. Let that uh, go off and, and build our application. So this is building using Qt as the UI toolkit for Windows, but we could certainly build it for Linux or Mac OS X. Uh, now we can just change directory to bin and then run, run the viewer. A few other things to keep in mind when building, you are going to need um, a, a library uh, license file for Hoops Visualize and Hoops Exchange. And so I've uh, been able to pull those from our developer zone and put it here. Uh, the Hoops license is, is a new license as well. Um, in the include directory and as well for um, hoops exchange we want to do the same thing here in our include making sure that our license file is in, in this directory as well uh, but now here we're looking at our Qt viewer uh, using hoops exchange we can now go in and load um, uh, any CAD file that we might have access to this happens to be um, a CATIA assembly file that is found in the um, the Hoops Exchange uh, demo data distribution. And we're able to now visualize uh, that, that model, that assembly using Hoops Visualize. So Hoops Exchange brought it in. Qt is uh, being used to uh, create our application and create the, the user interface. And then Hoops Visualize is uh, being used here to actually render that 3D model. We also have uh, from that from that assembly an assembly tree, where if I want to, I can select an individual part within that tree, a node, and, and it highlights here um, in the 3D view. We can also do things like add, let's say, a, a, um, a cutting plane. To this to this model. Uh, if we want, we can also uh, change some of our, let's say, our rendering modes to hidden line rendering mode. We can add markup, change our orientation, uh, change our projection. This is meant to demonstrate just some of the functionality of Hoops Visualize and Hoops Exchange in a multi-platform environment. You can clone this repository from GitHub and add your own functionality using these two very powerful engineering SDKs from TechSoft 3D. Check out this and other Innovation Lab projects at labs.techsoft3d.com.